I'm not sure how to tell you guys this, but I hate playing shortbow. That being said, I did get a comment recently asking for a shortbow guide, so here I am. I did want to try shortbow out anyways again because of the new seasonal runes it got in Season 20, so in this video I'm going to be going over the stats and skills I'm using as shortbow as a general guide, as well as covering the new seasonal runes that shortbow got in Season 20. And then finally I will show off some gameplay of the build I'm talking about in action. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the stats and skills I'm using for shortbow. So for the stats, skills, and new seasonal runes for shortbow, let's get into those. So to start with for my stats, I'm going around a 50-50 split into strength and agility. I do this so you'll have enough of the piercing armor penetration from strength so that you can deal enough damage to heavily armored enemy heroes. Right now I'm going a little bit more into agility than the exact 50-50 split only because it's blue tier lock so people don't have their full gear sets yet and most of the enemy units are not heavily armored. So I'm going a little bit more in agility to scale my damage more, but normally you'd want the extra piercing armor penetration. So that's kind of the main stat point distribution you want to do. I would just go 50-50 strength agility for the piercing armor pen and then just scale your damage for your skills. All right, so for shortbow skills, the thing you need to know first off is that shortbow has this passive ability you can see right here. So essentially, as you use your basic attacks, you're going to build up this passive buff and that will allow you to deal more piercing damage and increase your movement speed over time. So basically for 2.5 seconds, and this can stack up to 20 times, you will drop stacks when the duration runs out. So basically you're gonna keep attacking with your normal attacks, um, and just keep those attacks going, and then weave those in with your abilities, and that's kind of the general shortbow playstyle. You'll want high uptime on your normal attacks to keep this buff up and running. So your two main bread and butter abilities, at least for the build I'm going with right now, which is a mark focus build, is going to be this poison arrow and steel tipped arrow. These are essentially, uh, you could almost say the, the exact same ability in a lot of ways. Essentially they do a decent amount of damage up front. This one also does a little bit over time, over four seconds. But what the important thing it does is it marks an enemy. So you'll hit, in this case, Q, your poison arrow hits the enemy, and then if you hit them with a normal attack after they've been marked with this ability, you'll then deal 200 plus 8% of current health bleeding damage over two seconds. You can see Steel Tipped Arrow does a very similar thing. Again, it marks them, and then you'll deal same thing, 8% of current health bleeding damage over two seconds. So essentially what you'll see with Shortbow is they do a really big amount of damage to the percent of current health. This is different than the way you used to build Shortbow, which is around just building up stacks of bleeding and poison damage. So now instead of just doing a high base damage, you're really only going to deal a lot of damage to high health enemy heroes. So it's a bit harder to pick enemies off at low health, but you deal a lot of damage up front when they're at full health. You can see also with their ultimate ability, again, 0.45% uh, of current health, as well as some poison damage over time. So again, really good at dealing high damage to full health heroes, but it gets harder to finish enemies off, so you do have to rely on your teammates to pick up these kills a lot of the time, but you deal a good amount of damage up front. So these are your main two abilities. So in this case, you basically hit Q, do normal attack, hit E normal attack to explode those marks, and that's kind of where most of your damage is going to come from, along with your ultimate here, Angry Hornets. And then I take throw Bola as basically your knockdown. So you can knock him down and then set up these abilities to hit him. So be throw Bola into ultimate into Q normal attack, E normal attack. That's kind of your main combo there. If they're already stunned, you can just skip the throw Bola and go ahead and into your damage combo. I like throw Bola because it dismounts the enemy heroes. Your other options here, um, a similar one to Bola is stunning shot, which concusses the enemy and reduces movement speed for 50% for three seconds. You can take that one if you want, kind of personal preference there. I just like throw Bola because you can dismount enemies and it's a little easier to hit, at least from what I can tell. Um, and then your other two options here is parting shot and rolling escape. These are your kind of basic uh, escape abilities. So I'm going for a purely damage focus build. I'm not too worried about getting away. If I die, I die. But if you want the ability to escape fights more easily or escape or, or basically be better in dueling cap uh, capabilities, then you'll want rolling escape or parting shot here. So those are kind of the skills you can pick up a short bow. Um, again, I'm going for this mark focus build. I'm going to go over another build option, which historically has not been very good, but with the new season runes, it might be viable, but I'm not totally sure yet. But let's go ahead and hop into the runes I'm using. So let me go to my character here. Let's go to runes. So I'm using this new season rune marks explode with base, with basic attacks deal 10% more damage. So again, this is just scaling the damage off my marks. So pretty basic stuff. I'm just going to be dealing even more damage with the marks. Um, nothing much to go over with the, the rest of my marks here. I'm basically just going uh, for damage focused Oracle uh, Paragon skill, Oracle mark focused build. 
So Oracle Mark is a new thing in Season 20. You basically trigger this passive buff called Oracle Mark, and then through that and these other runes, you get bo uh, bonuses. So for example, more damage, reduced damage taken, all that kind of thing. So essentially, I'm just taking all the higher damage options to max out my damage. So the only other thing I wanted to go over here is there is a new seasonal rune for a short bow here. If I can find it, actually, sorry, it's back on my character page. So the other damage option build you have for Shortbow is this new rune called Atalanta Swiftness. So what this is going to do, it'll give you an additional point of movement speed, or sorry, each additional point of movement speed grants an extra 25% piercing armor pin and 5% piercing damage, but the normal attacks no longer make marks explode. So basically, instead of a mark focus build where you explode and deal high percent current health damage, this is more of a pure piercing damage, base damage based build. So historically, this hasn't really been an option. You've mainly done the bleed build and then now the current health percent damage build. But now it seems like there is this option where you can get a high movement speed and high piercing damage build with shortbow. I'm not actually sure if this is going to be good or not. It really will just have to see, I guess, if you can get en enough piercing armor penetration to get through heavy armor enemy heroes, that will really be the breaking point for that build. Um, but it might be possible given um, how much extra piercing armor pin you get from this. So I'm definitely going to try that out and I'll get back to you guys with another video if it's good. But yeah, basically you can use this rune and then there's another new seasonal rune that will basically scale with this that I haven't got. I'm about to get this one. So yeah, this one you can put on your boots. This will increase movement speed by 20% during Ulcro Mark. So that one combined with the passive buff that short, short Bub gets here, so this passive buff here that I mentioned, those two combined will increase your movement speed by quite a bit, so you'll probably have up to a 30% buff in movement speed. So that will be pretty significant. So I do think that piercing damage build might be viable. I'm definitely going to try it out. Should be pretty fun anyways, because you're going to be running around really fast. So I'm excited to try that one out. But that's essentially your two options right now in Season 20. Um, the kind of tried and true one that we know works relatively well, at least as well as short bow can work, <laughs> um, is this mark focus build where you're just dealing a high percent current health damage. And then there's this other piercing damage build that we have yet to see how, how well that one's going to do since not a lot of people have gotten it yet. But in the next few weeks, we should see if that's actually a viable build or not. All right, with all that being said, I'm going to jump into a gameplay commentary with this build setup, and I'll give a little, a few more tips as I go, and then you can see it being shown off in action. So let's hop into that. All right, so we got into a siege match here. So I'm bringing Iron Cap Spearman here. I would recommend you bring troops that don't require too much micro, because you're going to be pretty active as a short bow and shooting enemies constantly. So one thing you can do, actually, is you can take out artillery with shortbow, especially on the attacking side, it can be pretty annoying when you're doing this uh, to the enemy team. So I would definitely recommend that you try to take out the enemy artillery with shortbow when possible. So you can see I'm just weaving in my Q attack into normal attacks here. That's kind of your general combo. Might as well hit this guy, see if I can't damage him a little bit. You can see uh, how much damage I do to his current health percentage. Honestly, it's not like a super high amount, but it's a pretty decent amount. Um, I was going to try to pick off some of these guys pushing the ram. Shortbow is pretty good at uh, picking off enemy units that are pushing artillery, so that's a pretty good use case for him. So if this guy wants to stand in front of his guys, I'm happy to hit him. <laughs> um, he, he can block some of my shots though, so I'm just going to go ahead and pick off some of these guys. Um, actually, it's probably more important that I stop this siege tower here. So I'm going to try to pick off these guys here. Let's see. Maybe go back to these guys again. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to stop this. It looks like they are able to get up there. Got to be a little careful here now since they landed this tower. Maybe try to pick off some of these guys over there. Oh, jeez. Okay, that did a lot of damage. A lot more damage than I was expecting, actually. Just gonna go ahead and run away for a second. Somehow that entire volley of incendiary archers hit me, I guess. Alright, let's see what we got here. See if I can help my guy here. Let's see, did a decent amount. Did like 1,300 hit on that heavy armor. Just, it's not terrible, but... I mean, he's a long sword so he's gonna just gonna heal that up but it's not too bad to hit the enemy troops either 
Use my Ebola. Maybe we can secure this kill here. So yeah, you're gonna see I'm not like very good at securing enemy kills with short bow, but um, pretty decent at just annoying enemy heroes and doing a decent amount of damage. See, I did a pretty good amount to that guy there. Maybe I should go help these guys up here if I can. Let's see if I can help push these guys off. Seems like they got it covered now. Um, this guy's coming behind me, so I'm going to make sure I turn my guys around here. Just gonna try to support my guys if I can. I didn't have my guys in a very good position there. I should have been moving them, but I uh, kind of messed up there. That's okay. We'll see if we can stop him here. Uh, I should probably be picking off the enemy heroes. It's just sometimes hard in these big melees to focus on enemy heroes. There we go. Got that guy. But yeah, you can do some decent damage even from a uh, range like this. I think I might go pick up some troops so I can be a little more useful here, though. Alright. Let's go pick up some troops. Your damage output is really good just in terms of your uptime, though. I mean, you can pretty much just always constantly be shooting people, so... If you want a really active class, Shorpa is pretty good for that. I really should be closer, actually. Um, let me take... I'm gonna take Nomcons just so I can keep them up here and shoot down. I know they're not, like, super high damage, but, um... I just want to put a bunch of bleed stacks on these guys. So let me bring him right here. Looks like they already got through, unfortunately. So I gotta watch out here, otherwise they're gonna kill my guys. Um, let's see, I'm just gonna target that breach there. I might need to just completely back up here. Maybe I'll try to get a few shots off and then... Uh, Regroup here. I don't have too much time. Yeah, okay. It's time to it's time to move back. Let's get all our guys back. <clears throat> Hopefully, I can make it out of here without getting all my guys picked off. I'll probably just land my guys up here. Maybe. Actually, I'm actually I'm gonna go around to this side. I'm just gonna go ahead and switch units. I want to have my best units out right now. Because they are gonna make a pretty big push, so... I want something that's gonna be a little bit better in a big team fight, which Rattans will fill that role pretty well. I'll just leave them up here until they start pushing. I don't want to get them killed. I might put down a piece of artillery, not totally sure. Can help pick off some of these archers at least. It's not too many of them, anyways. I don't really need to worry about them too much. Let's see if I can uh, help pick off this hero here. This is where Ebola is good. So you see, I bulleted him off his mount there. Uh, he's a little bit too fast for us, though. I'm gonna bring my rattans down. They just used their treb and they're about to push, so this is a good opportunity to get my guys in the fight here. And I'm just going to aim right at the big bunch of enemies here. Just gonna aim into the biggest blob I can find, really. And uh, kill any heroes that are trying to get close to me here. The nice thing about Rattans is they stack up their bleeds along with your bleeds, so you'll just be doing a ton of bleeding damage to these guys. <laughs> See, I got that guy down. Oh, unfortunately... I was not paying attention, and they've been picking off my guys here. Let's see if I can uh, stop these guys here. I'm gonna try to kill that dual blades if I can. But again, like I said, it's not great at finishing enemy heroes. Mostly just at the beginning when you first hit enemy heroes. I think that guy will probably die from his bleeds. Yeah. I'm gonna go pick up some more troops though. Probably take out the Nomcons. I do like the bleed stacking with my hero. Because um, basically your units will finish them off with their bleeds and you do a high percent of their current health. So it's kind of a nice combo there. We're just getting kind of run over this game unfortunately. Let's see if we can actually turn this around somehow. 
Um, I don't have a good place for these guys to be. I'm going to try to put them right here, I guess. See if we can pick off some of their archers over there. You're not too bad against archers, which is kind of nice. Because um, you can pick off enemy ranged units pretty well. I'm going to use my uh, volley ability to get some more stacks down on them. I'm really just trying to get as much damage on that uh, group of enemies over there as I can. So I'm just going to target that big blob right there. That treb might kill a lot of my guys, but at this point I'm just going to try to get as much damage done as I can here. Maybe hit these guys over here. I should be closer. I'm just kind of worried right now. I don't have a lot of protection, but I I think I can get a little closer now. Um, this guy is going to be a problem. Let's see what I can do here. Unfortunately, that was a good move on this guy because um, we're going to have a lot of problems cleaning this up with all these ranged units here. Going to have to go swap to my last unit, the Janissary. Luckily, we stopped their big push though, so... We at least turn that around. We're just so far down on units, it's going to be hard to turn this game around from here. Especially because they still have a lot of trebs left, and it seems like our team is very heavy on ranged units, which is pretty common in blue lock, but our, I don't know, our team just has an absolute ton of ranged units, unfortunately, um, because that's what I brought, so it's kind of bad that a lot of my teammates also have a lot of ranged units, but it is what it is. Alright, I'm going to leave my Janissaries right here and see if I can't go get some kills here. This guy's a little bit out of position. Okay, nice. We got that guy. Yeah, they're just... I'm going to take... I got to take my guys off there. They're zeroed in on, the, on that location with their ranged units. So I'm going to have to put them back here to give them a chance to survive. Not sure what these guys' ranged units are doing out here. It's kind of a mistake. Got that guy. Let's see if we can get this guy. Thought he was gonna run that way, but I guess not. Um, just trying to clean up any enemy heroes that kind of come around us here, and in particular, focus on the lightly armored enemy heroes if I can. I gotta back up a little bit. These prefecture guards do a lot of damage to me. Oh man, this guy's gonna. If someone's chasing me. I'm definitely gonna die here. Just gonna hope that nobody's chasing me here. Okay, luckily they haven't killed my Janissaries yet, so my Janissaries have been doing some pretty good work. So I'm just gonna try to clean up this guy's Rattan Marksman actually. Because that's a pretty big threat to our team here. So I know I can clean those guys up fairly easily. Um, we're not doing a terrible job of holding considering the troop difference here, so we might have a chance. Not sure. I'm really considering putting down my artillery here. Um, let's see if they're flanking around. They're not flanking. I think I actually will. I'm going to put down a purple Scorpio. So, yes, I'm going to be that guy who might turn the tide of a game with a Scorpio. We'll see. I'm going to be pretty annoying here. The purple Scorpios on blue lock are just absolutely deadly. I just got to zero it in here. Let's see if I can hit them. I gotta hopefully make it over this little gap. Okay, nice. Yeah, that'll kill a lot of guys. Oh man, this guy's gonna come get me, I think. Let's see if I can stop him. Nice, okay. Luckily my team killed him before he could get to me. I'm just gonna try to hit these guys as they come up here. I wanna scare off any guys who are trying like looking like they're gonna dive me here. That's what I need to do. Oh, nice. I got those Akali Militia back there. That's really good for our team. I'm going to see if I can hit those guys on the stairs right there. It looks like I need to pull it back a little bit. Try not to hit our own guys. Um, looks like maybe they're pushing up the stairs. I can't really tell. Let's see. Oh, nice. That got a good amount of them there. Yeah, this purple Scorpio is just absolutely deadly on blue lock. Let's see if there's any guys in the back again that we can get. 
Um, this thing is doing work though, just killing a ton of their guys back there. I know it's not really shortbow gameplay, but um, this is kind of what I need to do right now, <laughs> unfortunately. Let's see. I feel like they're gonna be hiding guys back there. All right, I'm, I might leave. I'm not sure if I want to leave my shots or not. I feel like they're gonna dive me pretty soon here, so I'm kind of just, I'm kind of feeling like I'm just gonna use up the rest of my ammo because I don't think I'm gonna last much longer here. Um, I do want to move my Janissaries down here though, to a more safe position. All I have is Alchemist left, so I want these guys to last as as long as possible here. Um, let's see. All right. We're down by 200 troops still. Looks like they're about to push up again, so let me get back on this. Um, let's see. Oh, looks down they put artillery. Looks like they put down artillery of their own over there. I'm gonna have to watch out for that. Okay, I need to bring this back a little bit. Let's see if this will hit them. The problem is you have to make it over this little balcony uh, thingy, whatever you want to call this, the little ledge right here. Um, this guy's probably gonna come take me out here if he dives me. Let me see if I can knock him down. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna make it. Yeah, he he dove all the way for this. <laughs> the thing is, I only have one shot left, so this guy's basically gonna die for no reason. So that's kind of the nice thing about this artillery is it does get the enemies uh, wanting to dive you quite a bit. I'm thinking I should probably try to take out this artillery over here. That's probably more useful to my team than anything else I could do right now. So I'm going to see if I can't do that here. So it's a little boring to just sit here and hit the artillery like this, but it's super useful actually for my team to be doing this. Okay, nice, we got that one. See if we can hit that. I think the bola damage does extra damage to artillery. Yeah, like there we go. Got both the artillery down. So that'll be super useful. We only have 300 troops left. I'm wondering if I should go switch to alchemists now because they're not going to be very useful if if we're completely out of troops. So I'm almost feeling like maybe I should, but um, I don't know. I'll just keep my janissaries out, I guess, for now. See if we can take this guy out here. Nice. I was hoping I, I guess I can't jump on that ledge. Damn that. Oh, okay, I hit that guy for 5,000 there. That's actually very big damage. I didn't even know Shortbow could do that much damage, honestly. It was to a um, light armor, but still. You do have to kind of aim your shots carefully once you knock them to the ground. It can be kind of hard to see where they are in a big fight like this. When they're in a big blob on the ground, it's kind of actually hard to hit them sometimes, but... Um, so we should be able to get this guy here. Long swords are just always super annoying, aren't they? They just have so much health. Yeah, this is kind of the range you want to be at right here, where I'm at right now. This is a good range. Just very close to them. If you're safe to do so, it's a, it's kind of where you want to be here. Uh, and you can see I'm just basically holding down my mouse button. Keep normal attacking them as much as possible, and then just um, use your Q and E in between attacking. And you see you can do pretty good damage sometimes in a situation like this. And you can also knock some guys down and just be generally annoying to the enemy team. Surprisingly, we are pushing them back here, which I was actually not expecting at all. This has been kind of a big comeback game. It's been pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this game kind of gives you an idea of what you can do a short bow. This is actually one of the better short bow games I've had, so um, it's a good one to record. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope it's useful to kind of show off what short bow can do in a ideal situation. Let me guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think about short bow, what you guys build with it, or if you like playing short bow. If you don't like playing short bow, let me know. Thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you out in the battlefield.